Hey everyone, it's your girl Layla. Welcome back to my channel. Okay guys, so this is gonna be something completely different for my channel. I've never done a video like this before. I've done vlogs where I kind of show you guys the shop that I go to for my crystals. In the past, like I'm talking about years ago, I've shown it in a vlog and recently I did kind of like a little clip of it. But my favorite crystal shop here in Calgary is called Earth Gems. It's located on 17th Avenue Southwest. I am not sponsored by them or anything. I'm just letting you guys know where I do get my crystals from and this has been a part of my life for like a while now I've always been into crystals even as a child I've really been drawn to certain crystals and that sort of thing like I've been drawn to amethyst quite a bit as a child and that sort of thing so I have always been really into crystals and once my friend showed me this crystal shop I have been hooked and that was years ago that was years ago so I haven't been there in a while I haven't been there since before the pandemic and I went in there one time thinking that I would just get like a couple bracelets and I would just leave and not come back for you know another three or four years but that's not what happened I ended up doing like a whole crystal haul and I've honestly been trying to with the turmoil and stuff that's been going on in my life lately I've been trying to just ground myself and to feel more calm and I feel like a lot of crystals or certain crystals anyways do that for me they give me just a sense of like peace and calmness so let's get right into the haul you guys if you are not already subscribed please go ahead click that subscribe button below I upload three times a week Sunday Wednesday and Friday and let's just let's get right into it this is my most recent shopping experience there i went like on three separate occasions and i feel like i just go for what draws me in if i'm drawn to something that particular day i will purchase it so the crystals on my wrist today are actually also from earth gems i haven't shown this in a haul or anything like that because i haven't done any crystal hauls in the past but this one is strawberry quartz right here and this one is citrine so I wear these two a lot together I don't know why and I found myself wearing these a lot to work in the past and they really just helped me out the first thing that I picked up was this amethyst stone right here looks like this it is like a amethyst mini geode I guess and I picked this up for my desk at work because I thought it was pretty that's honestly the reason why I picked it up and what's cool about earth gems is you can grab these little cards right here and they tell you about the stone so this one is a dyed stone and I didn't really care because this was just gonna go on my desk but now that I don't have that job anymore I guess it can go on my computer desk here at home so this is known as the master healing crystal very high vibration and a carrier of the powerful purple ray excellent for spiritual workers a negativity destroyer activates intuition and it is the crown chakra and the aquarius zodiac so that is the first crystal that i picked up and i just i think it's really pretty i wanted to kind of cleanse my space at work a little bit and take away some of like the stress and negative energy and stuff like that so that's why i ended up buying some crystals honestly the next one here is ruby or a quartz this is one of my favorite purchases recently and i absolutely love it so it is in this shape right here really really beautiful looks like that and i really like it so ruby or a quartz so it is the permanent bonding between quartz gold and platinum that's how it gets it's kind of like really really pretty iridescence to it because this is a tumbled crystal it is a stone of passion and vitality very protective especially so in times of upfield and turmoil against aggression and violence and it is the heart chakra so this is definitely a very protective stone and that is honestly why i picked it because my life is just in turmoil right now so you know i decided to grab this and hope for the best and if you don't believe in crystals that's perfectly okay if you think that they're just 
you know, they're pretty, they don't really do anything for you. That's cool. Like definitely still check the store out. I think they have some really amazing pieces. So I did get a couple bracelets here. I was not planning on getting this one at all, but I was like literally drawn to it the day that I went in, which is really weird. But I did want the purple jade one for a really long time now and I finally picked it. So this is my favorite color. So we'll start with the purple jade first. Its frequency is connected to the earth star, third eye, and crown chakra it allows one to connect to higher beings to gain spiritual knowledge and then ground and link the energy to the mother earth via the earth star and it's all of the chakras so that is the purple jade and then so this one this next one is hematite and like i said i don't know why i was just drawn to it the day that i went in and i had to pick it up and this is not a stone that i would normally go for it's not a color that i would have picked for myself or anything like that or like a bracelet that i would have picked out for myself but i saw this and i was literally drawn to it so this is hematite it's thought to be an anti-stress stone and i was feeling very stressed at the time when i picked this up so that might be why this is thought to be an anti-stress stone it is powerful and very grounding it repels and dissolves negativity it has been used for a millennia as a healing stone by placing it on the body area that needs to be energized and the chakras are root and earth so that is hematite it is really beautiful and i have been wearing this quite a lot lately even like taking it into the woods and taking it hiking with me i have been doing that as well and then we're gonna get into my most recent purchases that i haven't even opened yet so i went in that particular day to grab an adventuring bracelet and i don't know why but i was thinking about the stone for a while now but i of course had other things draw me in as well and that day that i went in i felt very drawn to rose quartz for some reason and lighter colored crystals so you're gonna see that in this particular shopping trip was definitely a lot of like lighter colored stones so the first piece is this green adventuring i cannot wait to wear this i actually might put this on today i think it's a beautiful beautiful stone so that is green adventuring and this one helps to build positive attitudes and independence it has a direct channel to the earth's energy thus making it easier to balance and calm it enhances creative visualization and is excellent for anyone in the creative fields and it's the heart chakra and i find that very interesting because i was Honestly, I, like, I went in to get this stone because I was thinking about it and I am a very creative person. As you guys know, I do make YouTube videos. I think that I needed calm in my life at that point. I needed a calming stone as well as something that keeps me creative. So that is Green Adventuring and I plan to be wearing this hiking as well. I think it's just a very, you know, like a very inspiring stone, if that makes sense. So that is that one next bracelet that i picked up was agate and i was never drawn to this one before but i saw it that day and it was drawing me in and it also looks really nice with the green adventuring so these two are going to look great together so that is the agate bracelet So agate is a stone of inspiration and grace. It calms the emotions and is believed to help with restlessness, insomnia, and migraines. It neutralizes dysfunctional energies. It's the crow and throat chakras and its zodiac is Libra and Aries. And as you guys know, I am a Libra. So yeah, I was definitely drawn to this bracelet. So I am going to probably wear that today. We're going to go with rose or a crystal. So like I said, I came into Earth Gems, you know, really wanting to pick up the adventuring bracelet. But I also go in there to look around and see what feels you know like see what i'm drawn to basically and that day i was really drawn to like lighter crystals like this one and the rose quartz as well so this one is the rose aura crystal so it's very similar to the ruby one that i showed you guys earlier it has a similar iridescence to it let me pull the other stones so i can show you guys kind of like the similarities like it does have a really nice beautiful iridescent to it that is rose aura crystal it stimulates self-understanding and self-love it helps to release unexpressed emotions heartache 
soothing internalized pain. It strengthens empathy and sensitivity. It's a good gift for a friend in grieving, which is interesting. And the chakra of this is the heart. And I am sort of grieving something in my life right now. It's not like a person or anything like that. It's, I'll, I'll do a life update about it, but I am grieving something in my life, which is interesting. That's that I was drawn to the stone at that time because I just packed up my desk at work. I packed up all of my stuff that day and I went into Earth Gems later on in the day and I felt very low, like I felt very low mood, kind of down a little bit and I picked up the stone and instantly I was like drawn to it. So that is the Rose Aura Crystal. It's very, very pretty. I love this one. Next up, I picked up Green Kyanite. And I picked up a couple stones from there. I don't know what I'm going to do with these. I do want to take them with me when I go hiking. So that is the first stone right here. My mom actually found this one for me, read about it, and was like, this is so you. You should pick some up. Because I did take her to Earth Gems with me. So that is Green Kyanite. I might just kind of like maybe put this in a drawstring bag or something or maybe turn it into a keychain or something and then just put it on my backpack for hiking. So green kyanite is often used to contact the nature spirits. It's great to take along on hikes and camping trips. Plant lovers place green kyanite into the soil of a potted plant to improve growth and stamina. It facilitates astral travel and it is the heart chakra. So that's green kyanite. These were a dollar each, you guys. So I only got two of them, but that is that. The last thing that I picked up were two rose quartz stones here. And like I said, I don't know. I was just drawn to rose quartz that day and like lighter colored crystals. So this one is shaped like the ruby aura that I showed you guys earlier. It's just smaller. And then I got this one as well. I don't know why, but I was just drawn to its shape. It's just, it's the opposite of this. It's smooth and it feels really nice. This was $4.90. If you guys were wondering about prices and everything, I'm sorry I don't have all the prices of everything. So Rose Quartz, this gentle stone stimulates unconditional love from within and attracts it from without. It promotes forgiveness, self-acceptance, brings peacefulness and love to relationships, and is a very good stone for family and friendship, and it's the heart chakra. So the first time that I had gone back to Earth Gems in years was to pick up a couple bracelets. It was my first trip since the pandemic, and I went there to get a rose quartz bracelet for my mom. I think that this is just a very giftable crystal, and it, like every time I look at it, I actually think of my mom. It's very calming, it's really weird. It's very calming, and I got her a rose quartz bracelet for her birthday. So that was my first trip into Earth Gems in a while. And yeah, I was just super drawn to this crystal that day, which it's not normally what I'm drawn to. I'm mostly drawn to this crystal for other people. Like I said, this is a very nice like gifting stone. It has really good meaning and I love rose quartz. It's just, it's not something that I would pick up for myself, but that day I definitely was drawn to it. and seeing it now it's just it's a beautiful beautiful crystal so that is all that i picked up for my crystal haul from earth gems this is like three three different times that i went in recently and i will definitely be going back for more crystals and stuff like that i just i love the whole vibe of the store and everything it just it makes me feel good so that is all for this video if you guys are not already subscribed please go ahead click that subscribe button below i upload three times a week sunday wednesday and friday and i will see you guys soon bye